Hey everybody, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles. Thanks so much for joining. Thanks so much. For... Hey everybody, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles. Thanks so much for clicking on my video. I hope you enjoy it and have a great time. Do leave me a comment because I love to read those and I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye. Hello my friends, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles and we're about to do another episode of Rich Box Poor Box. So I hope you'll stick around. This has been a lot of fun comparing a very expensive box of jewelry from shopgoodwill.com, about $500, to a very inexpensive box of jewelry for about $25. So stick around, let's have a good time. I'm gonna start by pulling some jewelry out of the Rich Box. I almost had a heart attack today because I couldn't find Rich Box anywhere. I'm like, what happened to Rich Box? What am I going to do with my series? How am I going to deal with this? Well, I stuck Rich Box inside of Poor Box so that I could just kind of get some more room around in my living room. So for about 40 minutes, I was running around wondering where Rich Box was. So that was not fun but I'm really glad that I found it. And before we get too involved, let me remind you how to purchase. Just send me an email at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. I really need to write a new sign. And please send me these four pieces of information. I will need the video name and episode number, the timestamps of when your pieces show, a brief description of the jewelry, and the prices that I gave, okay? You can email me whenever you'd like. I don't mind several emails at a, at, in a video. You don't have to wait and email me when you're done. So I don't mind all of that. You can send your emails whenever you'd like, and I do answer them in the order that they received are received. So thank you for that. Okay, I got my loop. I got my testing stuff. First, I want to show you this. I mean, okay, it is nicely crocheted. It's a pretty color, but I'm not sure I would expect it in a really, like, supposed to be expensive box, but that's that one. Next we have these silver tone bead ball necklace. Oh wow, it feels really thick, like maybe it's supposed to hang like this. Oh, it's a little broken. All right, so if this was put back on here, which is easy enough to do, and then I tighten it down with the tool, it would look like this. That is pretty cool. That's very cool. All silver bead ball with a lobster clasp. And the silver tone's in really nice shape. Cute as a button. Oh yeah, look at that. That is really cute. I do like it. I will tighten up that one link very easily. It measures um, 18 inches with another two or three inch extender. Pretty good extender, nice thick chain. It's pretty, I will say. Uh, 15 on that one. Okay, Rich Box, what do you got today? This is, I don't know. It's, I'm not going to say acrylic, I'm going to say plastic on this one. There's seams on the beads, and then it comes to this M-U-S-E-S, -E Muses. Maybe it's another Mardi Gras. We did get a couple of Mardi Gras necklaces in this lot, so I'll put this one aside for, <clears throat> excuse me, one of my big craft lots. By the way, this week, I'm not sure when this video will post, but I made two entire videos on all jewelry jars, packed to the rim, and craft jewelry, 
and wearable jewelry, lots and lots of <clears throat> lots and extras. So hope you enjoy that. This is a biggie. It's a black chain. Um, has a little bit of wear right there, lobster clasp, and a gold chain, kind of interwoven. It's attractive. There's no maker. The finish is very, very good everywhere except for tiny few spaces right there on the top. <clears throat> so if you love these colors and this piece, that's 18 inches with another inch extender. And I'll say, um, we'll do $8 on that one. <clears throat> Might have to go get some water. Only when I start recording, I get this. Okay, how about the sparkle one? Oh my gosh. Okay, look at this. Wow, wow, wow. I have another light today that I'm shining right on the jewelry. Hoping that will make some more, you know, better viewing. This is absolutely stunning. Look at the, the rhinestones on the bottom. I wanted to call them baguettes. I think they still are. Oh, this is beautiful. Come on, you gotta all be there. So far, everything is, is there. All the rhinestones. This looks really, really nice. Oh, it's named. Okay, we've got a name. Kramer, wow. This is nice. A Kramer rhinestone necklace in beautiful condition. Oh, it's so beautiful. I think it needs to be turned because it's just not sitting as it should. And I always like to look at the clasp anyway. So let's go like this, get that all straight. Now we'll lay it down. And make sure the clasp works. Thanks for being patient, everyone. That's beautiful. A Kramer rhinestone necklace. Wow. Super gorgeous. Kramer is a really excellent name. So well made. It must be rhodium plated, I would definitely assume. Look at that. Great condition, really clean. Oh, it's a beauty. It is 16 inches in length. Um, hmm. I know Kramer goes really well. I don't know exactly all the prices. I'm just going to say 35 on this. And yeah, it's a Kramer. Beautiful. Okay. That's that piece. Next we have beautiful glass faux pearls. And these are more of a darker color. Um, I don't wanna call them peach. They're not at all peach or pink. They're more of a golden tone. They're beautiful, beautiful quality. They feel great in my hand. They are all hand knotted. Look at the clasp. That is beautiful. Gold tone clasp. There's like no wear to it. Hmm. Not seeing any marks. Let me see if that might be a little something there. No, that's just where it slides in and out. But this is beautiful. Oh, I wish it had a maker so I would know how to better price it. But Clasp it back together. Works beautifully, clipped right in there. Oh, it's pretty. Very high quality, whoever made it. Beautiful gold tone, all hand knotted glass pearls for sure. And double strand. And this is 18 to about 19 inches. I'm going to say 22 on this one. It's a beauty. This is something I think you'll have for a long, long time. There's no wear on the pearls. It's just in great shape. So 22 on that. 
that was pretty. Then we've got the silver tone, very lightweight bracelet, almost like a moon glow bead. It's not a stretch. It's tied right here. So again, probably something from India and maybe they rolled it on, could be. It seems to go along with some of the pieces that we get like this. I'm peeking in the box, see if I see anything pink. We still have a lot in there, so. I don't know what to do with, the, with this. I guess I'll just say $2 on that one. Then we have, this is lovely. So these are high quality glass pearls as well. And they are interwoven into this really beautiful black ribbon. You know, one of those nice ones, not, not a yucky ribbon at all. And glass pearls interwoven. The pearls with the black is really pretty. So you tie that in the back or, I don't know, how would you wear that? Would you wear, I guess you could do all thing, kinds of things with this ribbon, like tie it a different way, wear it to the side. I just know that the pearls are glass and they're beautiful and they are very creamy not quite white a little bit on the silvery side again great with the black so where this is tied now it measures 26 inches but of course you could go a lot longer or shorter but let me tell you where the pearls measure they are 20 inches so all the pearls from here down is 20 really pretty and i'll say twelve dollars on that piece so far i'm happy now i had someone ask me for the last strand of shells that i offered for free with purchase and the shells were already gone but here's another set so i just talked to you yesterday i wish i could remember the names but if that was you, just send me an email because I have another set of shells and I'll be happy to send those to you. And if I don't hear from that person, this can go with anyone's order that they've already purchased for nothing, okay? Free of charge. Now, this is in great condition. Beautiful big pendant. Look at the cording, shiny and brand new. Look at the metal. Okay, who is this maker? Very swirly. Almost like a little star in the middle. And a rhinestone. I have no idea who that is. Hmm, maybe I'll have to just do a quick Google image and see if I can find out who. Yeah, you won't even know I'm gone. Okay, well this does not happen very often. But I took a picture of that little maker's mark tag right here, and I Google searched it and I found it. That doesn't happen a lot. The maker is called Jingle and Joy. So I'll put that on here so we know who the maker is. It's a beautiful shape. I would call it a medallion necklace. I did not find the same one. Silver tone, lovely, beautiful cording. Measures, um, Probably, definitely 20 inches long. So I'll say $10 on that piece, okay? Next, lovely gold tone, something. Oh, we have an earring. Wait for your mate, wait for your mate. You know you gotta wait for your mate. Hmm, not much going on on the earring board at all. But again, we haven't got to the bottom of the box. This is it. So I'm sorry about my sorry, very sorry earring board. Oh, I want to show you this necklace. This I did not get out of the box, but since we're looking at vintage jewelry, I thought I would bring it out. I did try to match it up for a color matching bag for my Friday Night Fun jewelry series. Could not find anything. And it's gorgeous. It's vintage. It's Czech glass. And it's a beautiful yellow. You don't find yellow very much at all. So I thought I would offer this 
It's a stunner. I just couldn't find anything to do it justice. I'm not sure if this is the original clasp. It does look a little bit newer than the necklace itself. So maybe someone switched out the clasp. But look at the crystals. They are fabulous. And there's a little clear disc in between. Very faceted. Just beautiful. Oh. I'm so excited to maybe make a set. And I really tried hard. But it's a different color. And yellow is not. Yellow is kind of rare. really is. So here it is in all of its beautiful glory. Again, not from Rich Box, just something that I got from a lot of necklaces on eBay and thought I would offer it right now since I couldn't match it in my matching bags. It's beautiful. It measures 16 inches. If you need an extender, let me know. Um, is a rare color and it's a beauty. And I am going to say, let's do 46 on this one okay check glass and stunning okay thanks for letting me show you that now this is beautiful it's a chunky i would say almost a byzantine type chain it's on this i call these 1980s lobster clasp because you saw them a lot during that time and a lot of times they are used for real gold jewelry. Not seeing any marks on this one. Cute little pearl on the end. That's a gorgeous little choker. It does not stick to the magnet. Now this will a little bit because there's a metal spring inside and that metal spring will be magnetic. So let me just look a little closely because if it were to be gold, which I don't think it is, that would be a pretty big deal, I would say. Not seeing anything that says it is. I will just, I won't even need to test it. I'll just take a, a little spot, let's see, where no one will ever see. Maybe on this side. I should know right away. Yep, yeah, it's, it's gold plated over brass. It's very beautiful. I do love that clasp. Makes it look like real gold. That would look great. Um, stacked with others or layered. There's your clasp again. And this measures 18 inches. Beautiful vintage piece. Not marked, but lovely. And I'll say we'll do 15 on that one. This looks very old. Very, very old. And very important. Mm, I want to say sometimes Monet did that, sometimes Goldette, but I think in a different shape. But let's look at the necklace first. I'm, I've really gone to looking at jewelry first and then the marks when I can. It is like a thermoset black here, shiny gold bead ball here, and then this is a very frosted and textured gold tone. Not just frosted, but also textured. It's gorgeous, look at that class. So now we'll take a peek, are you marked? Yes, you are. Woohoo! And this is another Kramer. Oh, that's great. That is great, such a good name. I notice on Kramer pieces, they don't really go up and down in price like some things do. They really just hold their prices and sometimes get better. So that's awesome. Another Kramer. Okay, this is 16 inches. And again, I have no idea on this. Um, it's marked. It's beautiful. I will say 35 on that one. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. Wait a minute. We can't be done already. Let me get some more pieces out. I think they were just kind of bigger pieces. Maybe I can get something from the bottom. Try to get some smaller things. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. Because I want to have 
both earrings if we do. All right, well, we have a silver tone necklace. Is that part of it? Yes, it is. Lobster clasp. Nice metal again. Like, not like a cheapy. It's nice metal. Nice chain. And I think this is the pendant. Just the danglies on there. So that's cute. Good quality chain. Measures on 18 inches plus another inch extender. And it's not sterling. And I'll say $3 on that. Good chain. This looks like a brass earring. Love brass jewelry. The post is not brass, though. It does look like maybe a little mark on it. I'm not sure, but let me send it to the mate board and hope we get a match because it's a beautiful brass earring. So come on, everyone, sing it up. Wait for your mate. Wait for your mate. You know you got to wait for your mate and go to the board and wait. And then when your mate shows up, then we can give you a price. So there we go. Okay, what else? Any more? Probably should have sung the song at the same time. This doesn't look like an earring. There's nothing to go on your ear, and it kind of clasped like that. Purple glass faceted pieces. I think it's going to have to go in our bag of stuff that we have collected so far from this box. Got a cuff link, another one they don't match, a clip on, another clip on, and this really pretty pendant that's going to go to something. So we've got that that we've already unboxed, and this chain. Was that in the bag? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go back and look at the video. I think this was in the bag too. So those things, I'll take them out again and we'll put this with that because it looks like it goes to something. By the way, someone asked me about this ring. This is a sterling silver ring. They were interested in it and they wanted a price. But I don't know how to price it because I don't know what the letters mean. Now, someone said something about rune, R-U-N-E. I don't know what that is, and so I don't know how to price it. It is solid sterling, and it says the word sterling inside. It doesn't say 925, it says sterling, and I did show that before. So, that's the ring. Um, I'm trying to remember who asked me for it, but you will know who you are. I will tell you that it measures a six, it's a size six. So let me know if you know what the letters mean so I can at least give a price. I'd be happy to do that. Otherwise, it's all sterling and it's a nice thick band. Okay, that's that stuff. Next we have, ooh, this feels like a brass necklace. That looks old. Just love older brass jewelry. I think it's so cool. To me, it's a lot like sterling because the patina is so pretty. Not seeing a mark on here, but you never know. It really does look brass. Yeah, and look at this chain. Then it has these heavy sort of double bead balls on it. It's like a little choker. That is really cool. Really cool. Almost expecting to see 925, but it really is brass. Look at that, how tiny it is. That could be a cool boho piece, maybe a men's necklace or a woman's. I love it. It is 15 inches, solid brass, beautiful patina. We'll say 10 on that piece. This is feeling like real pearls to me. They are definitely real pearls. Wow. Okay. It's on a copper 
has copper findings that look like they once had like sterling silver plating. So all real pearls, look how close together they are. Isn't that a pretty look? That's a lot of pearls. And then it comes down to this beautiful drop with the uh, round, roundels, roundels, roundels. I never can remember which one. All real pearls, oh, it's beautiful. Yummy, they just feel so good in the hand. Not sure what to do about the clasp. It could easily be replaced with something, you know, more, with more of a finish on it, absolutely. But all those pearls, mm -mm -mm. it measures 18 inches. And this is how it looks on the neck, wow. That is a beauty. I've never seen them so close together. And really, they are very um, uniform. The color is very uniform, and I know that means a lot in pearls. This is going to be hard to price, because pearls do go by uniformity quite a lot. Now let me take really a close look. I'm sorry for the extra time, but whether they have little lines in them or not is another factor. And little divots here and there. Doesn't make them invaluable, but the more perfectly round, the more valuable. So I am seeing, you know, the natural lines in some of them, not all of them. So that is another factor. If they didn't have any of those in them, I'd say they were worth even more. It does need to be cleaned. So some natural lines in it, not many. I would say these are pretty nice quality pearls. And quite many pearls. Aside from the class, I think it's definitely 55. They're beautiful pearls, so we'll say 55 on that piece. Okay, Rich Box, what else have you got? Oh, another one of these. This one has green glass pieces on it. Okay, that goes in the pile of I don't know. And then a wait for your mate earring. Oh, that's a beautiful one. <clears throat> Silver tone, dangly, lovely little flowers. Okay, buddy, we're going to hope you have a mate for sure. And we've got this bracelet. It is a lovely turquoisey color, gold tone chain. I like the metal. It's very pretty. It has a very lush look to it. Not seeing any marks. And I feel like I saw this before. Maybe we looked at it and had to put it back. I don't know, but I'm sure this is a gemstone. It's very, very cold. So let's measure the size of it. Someone loves this. It has a light pink and a turquoise color. It looks like leather, but I can't be sure. It sits at a seven and a half. You can clasp it smaller if you'd like. Looking for a mark on the ends. Don't see one yet. Um, okay, whoops, <laughs> one of our earrings fell down. All right, Miss Prissy, what have we got? Come on, girl. Come on, she's still blinking. And it is not a gemstone. I guess it's made of glass. Sometimes I have to see if she's awake. Test my diamond. She's awake. Okay, so I would say it's a beautiful piece of glass to look like a stone. Great condition. We'll say $4 on that piece. Last but not least, look at this precious vintage three-part. Probably goes with like a set of, like a Japan necklace. Look how pretty that is, all the different pinks. So it's got a plummy sort of purple 
and then a lighter purple and then pink on the side. I've seen a few of these, but this is in really great shape. What a pretty, pretty piece. The pearls are not scratched either, so super shape. I will say 12 on this because these are not easy to find. And once you get one to match your, you know, vintage Japan necklace, it's a pretty good find. So let me know what you think on that one. And it looks like we picked up another cufflink. Don't see any marks, and I don't want to go too into that until we have both of them. So that's it for Rich Box, and the whole time I forgot to tell you how to purchase. I will probably make a little video snippet and insert it at the beginning of the video, so you may see this a few times. Okay, here's how to purchase. Please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com, and please, please include these four pieces of information. I was talking to a very sweet person the other day, and I know it seems like the videos are always live, so it'll when you watch the video, it'll feel like I just did this video and I'm I remember all the pieces in it. So why do I need this? But actually, I pre-record the videos and sometimes I'll put one up on Tuesday or Thursday. So maybe by the time you're seeing this video, I could have done two or three more videos. So that's why I need the information, just so I can go to the right box, the right episode number and see if your pieces are there. I hope that makes sense. So please include the video name with the episode number, the timestamps of when your pieces show, and you can get that by pressing the pause button. And again, timestamp is on your left of your screen, and the full time of the video is on the right. A brief description of the pieces and the price is given. Okay? Thank you so much. And I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd be so happy and honored to have you as a subscriber. And do let me know in the comments if you are a new subscriber or if you've been around for a while. I really love to talk to you all in the comments and even on the emails, so thank you for that. And click the bell, and I hope it'll notify you when my videos come out. You will have to go on the device that you are on, let's say a phone or a tablet, go to your settings, and you have to allow notifications for YouTube for each device that you use. So that could be a problem if you're not getting notified. So thanks for letting me show you that. Now let's move this guy over and go get some pieces from Mr. Poorbox. Now I will be grabbing from Poorbox. They're still a little on the heavy side, so to put them on the table is just a lot. Seeing some pretty beads. We have had a lot of nice beads in this lot. Ooh, that looks like an oldie. Yes. Ooh, that looks like candy canes. This is a long piece. What are you? Okay, lots of bracelets in this one. Try to make it match up to the other pile that we got. It's not always perfect, but let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm probably going to... Oops, sorry for that noise. Probably going to have to do a little research from what I'm seeing already. But let's see. So we have a nice, bright, beautiful bangle bracelet. It is made of acrylic. Needs a little cleaning up. But I find that you guys do like these. You know, they might match something that you have. And I can take some of my Simichrome polish. This polishes plastic really well. And I also have some real plastic polish compound that someone told me about in the early days of my channel. So here is a bangle, bright yellow color. It can be cleaned up and most likely is about an eight. Yes, it is, so I'll say five on that. Keep rich box over there. This is a cutie, cat eye glass, beautiful turquoise blue, light blue colors, really good shape. That's a really in really good shape. This measures 
about sitting at about a seven, but of course you can get more out of it like that. I haven't seen too many of these, but that's beautiful. Nice cold glass, really pretty. We'll do five on that one too. Okay, this looks like a nice long, long, long set of faux pearls. A clasp, I saw it a minute ago, didn't I? Older spring ring clasp. Nice gold tone on it. Really nice. So I don't think this has been worn very much. Now these are not hand knotted. They are more, wait a minute, maybe they are. No, they're more like stationed along the way. But this is a very long necklace. It's not like super quality but it's got pretty color and super long. You could really dress that up if you wanted to. It's got a little bit of yellowish color, not as yellow as it's coming out on the camera, but yeah, this has to be probably a 60 inch for sure. So I'll say we'll do $4 on that piece. It's in good shape. It's not scratched up, so put those on the other side of my table over there. Oh, we have an earring to wait for its mate. That's pretty. I love the pink stone, and I love how heavy this red piece is. It looks like ceramic. Really pretty. So go wait for your mate, wait for your mate. You know you gotta wait for your mate every time. What's this cute little guy? You know, I'm really happy about how many people are enjoying the acrylic jewelry from this box. Um, it is beautiful jewelry. I would never poo-poo any jewelry for any material that it is, especially the vintage acrylic pieces. They bring a lot of nice memories and they're very useful. So I'm so glad that you all are just scooping these up because I think they're adorable. This is a little tiny beaded, looks like a butterscotch amber, but I don't think it is. I think it's a faux acrylic piece with an older spring ring. I know they still make spring rings, but this is definitely an older necklace. And it's a cute little choker style with gold bead balls in between that are in good shape. And this is a little 15 inch. And I'll say a dollar on that cutie. Now, what are you? I see a brass spring ring. It's in good shape, too. But look at the shape of this. Now, this is a peachy color. And it graduates down to larger beads. And in between are the same color little tiny round beads. So it has those cute spacers. So if you need something peachy pink, that's a cutie. Clasp is in great shape. It is 18 inches long, graduated again, and we'll say five on that one. This is a nice wooden bracelet. We had one before, but I couldn't get the stuff off, so it went in a craft lot. But this is in very good shape, and that mustard yellow color is really good. In fact, I sold a necklace. Was it a Premier Designs? Remember it had the uh, faceted glass and then it had the gray wooden part? This would match really great with that. If you're out there listening, great color for that. I'll say three on that neck bracelet, sorry. Next we have, looks like a ribbon. Just a ribbon, there's nothing on it. So we'll put that aside. Ooh, this feels like nice glass, and it's on a, I heard someone called this hematite color, and that's a good name for it too. It's either gunmetal or hematite color, but we have acrylic beads here, but glass beads here, and then a metal bead here, and look how it comes out into these big pieces here. Now i got to turn Miss Prissy on because these are very cold. 
Yes, that is a beauty. I love how they have the larger beads on the side. Let's put it on Buster Boy and see how it looks. It's a pretty good length. And it would look like this. So you've got your faceted, then your larger oval, faceted, larger oval, and faceted at the bottom. It's pretty. Very, very pretty necklace with the clear, the silver tone spacers and the black. That too could go with a lot of things. Okay, let's see if this is definitely glass and glass and acrylic on those. So there you go. This one measures 24 inches and then another five or six. So just a beautiful piece, mixed materials, and I'll say six on that piece. Okay, let's see what this long piece of leather is. I think that's exactly what it is, a long piece of leather. It's in very good condition. Not seeing any wear on it. And then it comes down to these, oh my goodness, that's a gemstone. That's a bezel set. Beautiful, mm, wow. Beautiful gemstone. Oh yes, for sure. It's going up into like, I don't know what the gemstone would be. But let me show you what it measures. I mean, what it comes onto the machine on Miss Prissy. Oh, sorry, girl. So it's a butterscotch swirly, almost like a carnelian agate. And it tests right where carnelian would test because carnelian tests around where garnet tests. So I think it is a type of carnelian agate, but I'm not a professional. So if it's very important to you, you'll have to get that figured out. But two gemstones, super long suede, not sure if this is a necklace or a belt, but it could be anything. And I'll say $6 on that. Gorgeous stones. Oops, I'm sorry about that. It jumped out of my hand. This is a little tiny rice pearl piece and does not feel real. I think it's a cute piece, but we are going to start a new craft jar named Erin. And we are naming this jar Erin for Sheila. So here's the start of our next craft jar. And I'll just put that in there. A lot of times pieces in the craft jars are wearable. But sometimes they're for crafting. So here's your jar, Sheila. But remember, anyone can buy the craft jar. I just honor the names that people send me in the comment section. So if you want me to use some names of your family members, just send them to me in the comments. I'll write them down, and sooner or later, I will use them. So here we go with Erin. Oh my goodness. Oh my my. This is one of those pearl necklaces that I call like snow pearls. I don't know much about how they coated these, but remember I had a set in my Friday night jewelry bags and I called it snow or something. I just love that texture. Look at this glass. It's so beautiful. With that rope swirly design. Oh, have a name. Please have a name. Oh, there's no name. No name there. No name here. Oh my, it's just too beautiful. How am I going to price this? It's all hand knotted. The pearls are so beautiful and just like frosty snow. I'm going to have to hold it up like this so you can get a good look at what it would look like. But it is a nice long necklace. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. Okay, I am so in love. Um... This is 24 inches. I am I don't know what it is, and I'm not gonna stop and do a Google search. I'm gonna say 45 
And if it doesn't sell, I am going to keep it. And in the meantime, I'll research it and all of that. So uh, if you don't like the price, I'm sorry. I don't mean to make wrong prices, but I could be right on and I could be low. So I love it. If uh, that doesn't grab some of you, I'll definitely keep it because it's a beauty. Okay. And if you know anything about that type of pearl, um, you know, coating, please let me know because I would love to know what it's called. And again, I'll be taking a picture and researching it. And by the way, I'm wearing this little gold bracelet because my sons had a birthday party for me. It was so fun. And I decided to take off the bracelets that I've been wearing for so long. And I wore this bracelet that my son gave me years ago. And I wore a necklace with two pendants that he gave me as well. And look, I got a couple of uh, Pandora charms. I told them that I bought this bracelet just for them to add charms to. And I got this gorgeous heart that says mom with some aquamarine. So beautiful. And my other son got me, it's supposed to go this way, a little baby elephant because I love baby elephants. Just so sweet. And that one I had already purchased. So just showing you that for a little bit. So, so fun. This is again, older spring ring. A plasticky type of necklace and it just looks like a candy cane it really does so I don't know craft jar or just say a dollar on this piece I think I'll say a dollar I have a feeling I know someone that might like that I can't wait to get this piece in my hands because this is beautiful glass glass right or gemstone oh my goodness it looks like, I don't know, let me see. Oh my, it's definitely gemstone. This is not glass. So what's that called? Something, something kite. I just said it the other day. This has to be that. Look how big the pieces are. Okay, here we go. Look how far up it goes. So a lot of times when pieces go in that jade area. They're also in the quartz area. So it could be, oh, what is that called? When it's pink and it's green, it's something kite. I can't believe I forgot it. But that's what that stone is. I'm not seeing it on a sterling chain though. Huge pieces. Let me see what this one tests as. This is testing also, this is a little, yeah, it's testing also in the quartz area. Let me see what the little green ones test as. The little green guys are glass. Unikite, I think that's called unikite. Wow, what do I do with this heavy unikite stone necklace? I don't know. It's so pretty. It's 18 inches. And if you need an extender, let me know. It is heavy, though. I'm, I can't price it because I have no idea. If you're interested, send me an offer. And after the video, I will see what I can find out about this, okay? Well, actually, I did take a quick minute to go look at it because I don't like to show something and then everyone get all excited about it and then not give a price. So now we have to reverse the whole last like five minutes because I'm not sure it's unikite. My gem app is testing it as a dyed agate and as quartz. So maybe this is a colored quartz necklace, which would make sense. It's still a beautiful piece. The colors are gorgeous. I gave you the length on it. And I will say, let's do 24 on that beautiful stone. Okay, not so bad again, poor box. Let's see what this oldie is. This looks like, oh, the color is so cool. Oh my goodness. All right, let's look at this because I think we might have another Japan piece. We do. This is our third one and the other two sold. It breaks my heart to sell them, but I can't keep everything. This is so interesting. 
It is, the colors are like a golden green. Yes, that's how I can describe it. And the condition's really, really good. You have gold tone and between the beads. And then you have this piece and there's all your knotting. It does feel like glass again. So a nice quality piece. I'll show you on the buster. So hopefully you can get a good idea of this color. Look at that. Is that stunning? So I would say a pearly, almost a white. If it wasn't next to the green, you would think it was white. And then a little bit more of an olive color down into this almost a golden green. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. I know that these go for $35, 45 but the others, other two, I let them go at $22 a piece, and I'll do that again with this one. So there you go in your Vintage Japan four strand. Beautiful, unusual greens, great, co great uh, condition. And it is measuring the usual 14 inches with a little bit left to go. So that's that one. Oh, it's just lovely. So much fun. What else do we have from Poor Box? We've got what feels like glass beads. Oh, that was easy. It's a darker metal. Looks like a bit of a shorter necklace that comes down into about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five strands and these bicone glass pieces. Has two different shapes, like almost like a teardrop and then the bicone. It has these bead balls at the top and a long extension finished with the cute little bead. So this looks like this on. That's a pretty little necklace. I do love that it's glass. And again, I love the condition. Measures 14 inches plus another four inch extender. So 14 to 20 on that piece. And I'll say $6 for that. Some really pretty things. What are you? Okay, again with the older spring ring clasp. This is an acrylic necklace with those cool golden swirlies over top of what looks like a faux gemstone. The beads are bigger and smaller alternating. And it's a little bit longer piece. Pretty colors. They are almost like a mauve really trying to get my lights just right. It's really tough with the lights. Let's see, and this, and then this. No, the light won't get any closer. So a mauve pink, golden swirl, a little bit of green in there as well. Just a cool piece. It is 24 inches long and moving right along. Great jewelry sounds. We will say six dollars on that piece. Interesting colors. This is oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Oasis. This is cute. Now, is it supposed to be like little moccasins? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I don't know what this is. I'm going to say it's a necklace with little moccasins. It's adorable. Orange, black, white, green beads. This is the back of it. Looks like maybe there was a name on there, but it's faded. With some kind of stamp or maybe just a sticker. It's all hand done. It measures 24 inches. Cute as you know what? I don't know what to say. I guess I'll say six on that one. This is lovely. Dark metal on the inside. Continued on the outside. Looks like a tarnished 
silver. And then all of this gold relief work on the top with the grapes and the swirlies. That's pretty. Very lovely bangle. No maker. Do not think it's made of metal, but maybe. Oh yes, it is. The slight magnetic pole. Measures about eight. Yep, about size eight. And if you love that, we'll say six on that piece. Very, very attractive. Then we have this cute red, white, and blue piece. I am not seeing a clasp. I think this is an over the head. Yes, it is. So red, white, and blue beads, acrylic. They do have, do they have little beads in between? Yes, I think so. And this piece is 46 inches. And I'll say $4 on that one. Ooh, we have another one. Another Southwestern, maybe Native American. This is really pretty. This has red and white beads. It's in excellent condition. Look at that work. That's beautiful. Really beautiful. Oh, I can see the Thunderbird now. That's nice. Look at the stitching, how beautifully done that is. Oh, this one is 27 inches long. Oh, it's very pretty. I'll say $8 on that one. And then we have a bracelet. It's got some coconut shell beads, pretty sure they feel light, and some glass beads, and some gold tone, and a little tassel. Stretch is great. That's a pretty bracelet. Lots of different colors and softness and shininess. They are definitely glass. I always check because you never know when it's um, onyx as well, but this is glass and it's in great shape. And do you need to know what it sits at? Let's see. Sits at a six and a half. That stretch is wonderful. And I'll say five on that piece. So that is our pour box. We didn't really get anything to go in the craft jar, which is kind of a wonderful thing. So let me go grab some things and we'll make that really quick. Okay, back to Aaron. So we can put this to the side. And I've already been collecting some things here, so let's put these in. I have a, looks like a nice gold tone necklace. Nothing wrong with it, it's pretty shiny. It's not a Korea, but it's a very useful piece. That goes in a craft jar. These earrings are very pretty. I do like the open work, but they just seem to have a little bit of wear on them. Maybe that's how they're supposed to look, but when I'm not sure, I don't wanna, you know, put a price to something. So I'll put those in there and you can wear them or craft with them. Then what do we have here in this little baggie? We have, oh, it's a little necklace and I didn't want it to get tangled. Is it? Yeah. Silver tone necklace, glass beads. Again, nothing wrong, it's really pretty, but in the craft jar. This is a single earring with some acrylic beads, but I love those filigree. So in goes that one. And this is a vintage chain, a useful chain for sure, with a spring ring. Could use some cleaning or maybe it's shot, I don't know. And we have a silver tone bangle with a little bit of texture on it. Looks like a necklace, gold tone chain with some pretty stones on it. So that should be useful. A little bit of wear on the chain. Next is this silver tone necklace. The chain is worn but I did like this purple pendant right here. That looks really pretty. So that goes in. 
Then I have some of these from the previous necklace. They are, oh, I don't know, silver tone. They feel really cold like glass. They have these little glass pieces on the ends. They do polish up nicely with a silver cloth, so I'll put a bunch of those in so you can make something with that. And then we have this ring. I think this says, it's trying to say 925. It has like a 025. It's not sterling. So just remember that when you get it, it does need a clean. This is two little pendants that say the year 2000 on them. So maybe someone can use that. Maybe the year 2000 is special. Maybe you've got birthdays. Some little seed beads. That goes in our Erin jar. What else have I been saving for you all? This beautiful, many, many stones on here. And look at the seed beads. So this is a beautiful pendant. Has a pretty good chain on it. I'm not sure what the issue was. Maybe there's a stone missing or something. So that's going to go in. Also, this is a brassy chain with these bev bezel set crystals. But I don't think they're crystal. I think they're acrylic. But it is still cute. Maybe you'll love it just like that. It does feel cold, but yesterday I thought it was acrylic. I'm not sure, but it is cool brass tone. And I put that in. Okay. What else? Oh, this is nice. I haven't even tested this yet. So this is a copper color chain. I don't want to take the time to untangle it all. And it has a blue, like leather part and then tiny seed beads in like a brownish amber and then a chain comes down to this pendant and these pieces of glass or citrine they are glass and this is a gemstone so not sure what kind of gemstone but these are nice cold yellow glass pieces and we'll put that in hopefully you can love the necklace or do something with it. And everyone's got to have some pearls to, to use. This necklace is beautiful, really high quality glass pearls. They're all hand knotted. It's really a great necklace, but it just has an issue with the clasp. Just needs a little bit of cleaning up right there on the end. And I just don't have the time. So a really beautiful glass pearl necklace. I hope you love that. We've got some kind of little bracelet with oh, cactuses and boots and cow. That's so cute. And it is a Claire's, I think. So useful pieces and parts. And we have this necklace that has these beautiful cubed crystals on it. I really love those. And these feel like hematite. It's sort of a gold tone chain. Just feels a little bit like when you run your hand down, it's a little snaggy. So I thought I'd put it in the craft jar because those glass pieces are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. We've got some kind of a chain with these cute little crystals. That goes in. These earrings are so pretty, but this one doesn't have a post. But those could be useful parts. Let's see, let me try to find some color. We have some color seed beads. Again, nothing wrong with this. And a necklace with a lovely pendant. I think that is a faux shell. And it has all these gold bead balls on it. That goes in. We have this big ring with some nice rhinestones. There is one missing. Put that in there. And this too. This is loaded with really big stones. 
silvery color. None missing on this. Just thought it would be fun to wear or to craft. Let's see if I can get some other color metal in there, like some gold tone. Yes, okay. I've got this gold tone necklace. It is a tassel-y type piece. The chain is a little worn towards the top, but lots of gold chain there if you need. And then we have this green piece with this little medallion. This is interesting. I didn't have the time to clean it, but it's some kind of glass. Almost looks like, oh, I don't know, a shell inside of glass. It's very interesting. So with a little cleanup, that might be a really cool looking piece. What else can I put in there? Oh, some of these might have to go into a bigger bag because they won't fill, fit in the jar. Here's a rhinestone ring. I'm trying to go quick here. Okay, this way. Rhinestone ring with a little other ring hanging off. I don't know anything about that, but in it goes. This is some really pretty seed beads. This is a nice Rolo type chain gold tone. It has a little bit of tone loss. Not sure if it can be polished up. I am seeing a little copper underneath, so not sure, but you will know. This has some sports things on it, but it also has some cool glass beads. So that goes in. How about this black and white beaded piece? Let's get that in there. Then I'm gonna work on my thumbnail. I'll put the rich box pieces on the left and the poor box on the right, and we'll see who wins this round. It's been so fun, this series. It really has. Some of the episodes, the poor box won, and some of them, the rich box won. I would say we have, I'd like to get it done in two more episodes because I have some other boxes as usual. Okay, this is acrylic, but it is black and white. The chains are really great. So there's some more colors and things for you in the craft world. A bracelet with black and silver beads, nothing wrong with it. Just thought you'd craft with it. And here's some, some more metal beads on that bracelet. Let's see. I love to get rhinestones in there many different pieces as I can. This, a bracelet, self-adjustable, and a really pretty filigree earring. Just one though. Yeah, this is a necklace and a bracelet set. I can't really figure it out. It has kind of almost a gold tone, but not. It's really pretty though. And again, there is nothing wrong with it. If I could get it in here, I will, without damaging anything. That way, if you do want to wear it, you can. Oh yes, okay, that'll go in. So that's good. And then I'm sure I have like a half a million single earrings. So let me grab some of those. And there's another pendant, okay. Okay, so I had to go get some treats for you all because I really love to pack a beautiful craft jar. I have this gorgeous glass bracelet. It is so beautiful. The stretch needs to be redone. I don't think it's going to go anywhere yet, but look at that green and these blues and the bead caps. This is so pretty. I mean, just a beauty. But see how it doesn't come back? So that's gonna go in, oh, lovely. And look at the pink one with the cat eye beads and the faceted pink. It's all glass with the rondelles. That's a lovely piece. Now I feel better about that jar. And to top it off, I have a beautiful Monet brooch. 
It's just missing a little pink stone there. I think that's it, a little pink one there. So if you craft and you have pieces like that around, this is a beauty. Look at the back of it. it says Monet right there. So I hope that's a nice treat for you on your craft jar. I'm gonna wrap that piece, make sure it's protected, and hope you really love this jar. Jar named Erin. And I will say 25 on this one, okay? So beautiful glass, lots of gold, silver, those glass pearls. I hope you're gonna have a great time with this. I'll put bubble wrap, wrap it nicely, and that will be 25. So thank you so much for spending time with me on this next episode. I think I'm just gonna put this, yeah, we'll put it aside and I'm not know what to do with stuff. Oh, and I see a little beautiful little um, rhinestone something or other, and I'm gonna put that in that same craft jar that I just told you about, okay? So there we go, time for me to set up my thumbnail and get busy making it look very, very pretty. I hope you'll see the video and want to click on it and be very excited about our Rich Box Pour Box because we've got some great pieces. I think I might know who's going to win this round, but you let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget, I'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye. Hi, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that video. I had a great time making it, and I hope on the way out you will leave a like and click the, the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Okay? Thanks so much. Bye.